<laughs> yeah, I'm saving it for another time. All right. All right. Amen. Okay. Yeah. Great. I'm I'm waiting until they come on in. Okay, so all right, Basso. So you know what to do. Please share, please share, please share. Doing that now. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And say share screen. Um no. No, go to what the heck? What in the world is it doing? We here. Oh. Um hear me? Hey. Okay. I hear you. Yeah, finally got in. Amen. All right. Look, at, look, at you. look at you. Is my other screen back in? Oh my gosh, are you serious? Uh it no, it's not. No, it kicked me out. How you like that one? Yeah, you're oh, the I other screen. I really don't like Zoom. Me, I mean, Zoom is, I guess, since a lot of people is using it, mm -hmm. um, they they it's doing what they want to do. They doing what they want to do. I, I kid you not. Now I got to go back in. Got to go back in. I was wondering why I was like recording, saving. I'm like, in Jesus. Amen. I've been trying to get on, I've been trying to get on since like 6.45. Oh, you serious? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it kept me out for a minute, too. I'm like, I, I don't know what's going on with, with them. I guess they trying to make somebody pay some more money. <laughs> like they ain't getting enough. Jesus. Hello, everyone. Hey. Good evening. Good evening. Hi. Hey, drop it in. How y'all doing? Good All right. yes. Amen. God is good. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. It is. Indeed, 703. 703, we're supposed to start at seven. So guess what? Um, yeah. I'm gonna be nice and give them two more two more minutes. Just two. That's it. Just two. Just two. So I am going yeah. to um Pastor Mark, could you please get us a, a scripture in hand, please? Yes, ma'am. Amen. And I, I am going to um, say to uh, to y'all when the speaker get up, please, 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 um, with all respect, I will ask y'all to um, to mute. Let him. If it's a lot of noise in the background, please mute because we want to hear what the man the guy has to say. Because just being fair, because if we was up there, we want to be heard as well. Because if I have to mute you, you know I'm gonna mute you. Click. <laughs> <laughs> And she will hey. do it. Hey, Elton Harvey. Amen. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. So, Praise the Lord. you know, Praise I am Lord. so glad to see y'all. Amen. Praise so I am going to, well, here we go. I'm starting. It is 7.05. Amen. Glory to God. Let me take this off. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen, 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 amen. I am Apostle Ella, and welcome to It Is Time to Bloom with a, a network of ministries, just not VLF. It is a network of ministries. We have, I'm not going to do like Apostle Young did because I know <laughs> our screens are different. So I am just going to say we thank God for our Prophet is Barry, for our Pastor Mark Praise Dudley, God. for our Pastor Young, for our Apostle Smith, and who else? For our Sister Zena, and for our Elder Harvey, and our Prophet is Tanisha Praise. up in the house. We up Praise in the house. God. Hallelujah. Amen. Come on. What? Look, first of all, it is, it is Tuesday night. You know, I don't like anything dead. Okay. I don't like nothing dead. So I'm going to ask our Apostle Young to open us up in prayer. And then we're going to have the word by our Pastor Mark Dudley. Amen. 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 All right. Let us bow. Hallelujah. Father God, as we begin this night <clears throat> and this series, 
Lord, we are asking you to allow us to bloom, not to bloom of ourselves, but to bloom in you, oh God. So Lord, let the speaker increase tonight as you were. Let the speaker decrease tonight, Lord, so that you may increase in him and in all of us. Lord, we ask that that peace, that wisdom, that knowledge that comes from the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit only. Let it be shared, oh God, and let it fall on good ground. Yes, The God. ground has been broken up. We have given you the fallow ground so you, you can plant your precious seed so that it may produce some 50, some 100, some 1,000 fold. So Lord, we welcome everyone on the panel, but we welcome even more those who are listening tonight and at other times on Facebook and on other platforms as this message is shared, for it, it is indeed time for us to bloom and spread forth our wings. We Amen. ask these things in faith, believing, receiving, and knowing that it is done. In okay. Jesus' name, amen. 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 <laughs> amen. 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 All right, amen. now my turn. Amen. Amen. All right, Second Peter, chapter three, verse eighteen. Second Peter, chapter three and verse eighteen. Amen. And the Bible says, "But grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ." To him be glory both now and forever. Amen. 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 So come on, everybody, let's just give God a nice good. Thank you. Give God a nice good praise. Y'all just a little bit too quiet. Hey. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, that God is able to do exactly above we can ever ask yeah. Or what we can think. We, why? Because we don't serve a dead God. Amen. We don't serve Amen. a Amen. God. Amen. Amen. We don't Amen. serve Amen. a God that we can pull up the shelf. We serve an active God. Yes. A moving God. A right. loving right. God. Right. An all around God. Hallelujah. Oh, he everything yes. we need. Somebody said a bag yes. of chips and getting some. I'm, I'm going to say that. Everything. Everything. Is, he's my A all the way through the Z. So he's Glory my A. Thing. Yes, Amen. Yes. So we, I'm welcoming yes. everyone here to yes. It is Time to Bloom tonight is our kickoff night. Thank you, Lord. And the, God gave us this because guess what, saints, sisters, brothers, it is time for us to bloom. Amen. Yes, it is. Yes. It's time to bloom. I'm going to try to stay away yes, from God. that because it's not my night. Anyway, <laughs> I am going to <laughs> I'm going to ask Man. So who do I want to sing tonight? Mm -hmm. God. Oh, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Um, Prophetess Berry, could you please render us a song, please? Okay, praise God. <laughs> praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God, saints. Praise God. 
Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I just want to thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, Lord.
Yes, Amen. God. Yes, God. Jesus. Yes, Amen. God. We get the fellowship, yes, God. And when we fellowship in love, God gets the glory, yes, God. Yes, God. We have, we have a speaker on tonight. Um, yes, Lord, he's not a stranger to me. Even though I haven't met him personally, but I will. Amen. But. I, I want to introduce yeah. this young man. He's he's just been a blessing. Yes, and at times he could be a firecracker and you're gonna have to throw some water on him and put him out. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> but I Hallelujah. think and I praise God oh, because God. he's he's a servant. And I mean, if you don't want to hear the truth, don't ask him. I'm gonna tell you like amen. that. Hallelujah. Don't, don't ask him. Thank you, Lord. So amen. Um, he is the pastor and the founder Ooh, and the overseer. Of King's Dominion yes, Worldwide Ministries International. Yes. And this young man, yes, God. Yes. I, I just say he's he's just a blessing to my heart because when it comes to service, he's a yes man. When it comes to God, he's a yes man. Amen. So I want to introduce to some and present to others no other than our apostle Howard J. Smith. Apostle, let the Lord yes. use you. Hallelujah. Glory Amen. to God. Thank you. Hallelujah. Glory. Everybody, everybody mute your mic. Yes. Please, please, please. Can everybody hear me? Amen. Good? Yes, sir. Yes. I don't want you to miss this because I honor you in this. One thing to minister to the sheep, but it's a whole nother ball game to get around some other leaders. Amen. It's a whole nother feeling. It's a whole nother push on it. A pull. But I honor you, Pastor Ella, Pastor Mark, Pastor Young, and all of the rest of you on the line. But ever since you had me that day, it's been some kind of summer. Bless you, sir. In the spirit since then. Uh, that's how I know this. This is something major. And then when I saw the words you gave me, because I don't know about y'all, I'm a country boy. And when I say country, we used to ride pigs like horses. Work in the field. I had a little out, outhouse, actually, because they didn't have indoor plumbing. So when I hear that word bloom, it, it just stuck in my spirit. And God gave me, if you turn the scriptures, Genesis 8, 22. You got it? Genesis 8, 22. I'm reading in the apple side now. He said, okay. as long as the earth remains, seed time and harvest. Mm. Cold and hot, winter and summer, and day and night shall not cease. And when we talk about a bloom, first thing I can think about, like I told you, I'm, I'm a country boy. We talk about something blooming. It's a key indicator, key sign that the season is changed. Are you hearing me? That is a key sign indicator that the season is changing. And if I give you a title for the night, when the season change, you got to change with it. Amen. Amen. You got to have a blossom before a bloom. You got to have a flow before an overflow. But there's steps to this thing. And you got to understand the season. Because everything that God does is according to the scripture we just read in Genesis. Everything God put on it, as he said, it shall never cease. So when we see a blossom, you got to understand the season is changing. And that's what a lot of us don't understand. We understand in the natural when seasons change. We understand it. Okay, it's about to be fall. It's about to be summer. It's about to be this. And we prepare for it. You don't go in the summer with your winter clothes on. Right? You don't go in the fall with spring clothes on. You don't. You change it up. And one thing in the spirit we have to realize is spiritually in the season, if we're not where we're supposed to be in the season. We won't even get the blossom. Are you hearing me? We have to understand just as much in the spiritual season. And we talk about blossoming. That means the spirit has changed. I mean, the season has changed. And you got to understand, you have to change with it. If you don't change with the season, now working on a farm, 
we had to understand two things y'all need to get at least get your farmer friend and get your good fisherman friend. They know some of everything. Uh, but when if you, if you miss if you miss those blossoms coming out, you don't know how to set up for the bloom. So you gotta know where you at as a as a believer, what season you're in. That's why I'm careful not to tell people it's your season without telling you what season you're in. Everybody's not in the same season. We could be walking together right here. That don't mean we're in the same season. And we got to know where we are. And one of the biggest things about church folk, never know, most never know what season they're in. And you end up trying to operate out of season. We're talking about blossoming now. We're still talking about blossoming. But we're talking about the importance of understanding the season. And you got to understand, every time a prophet jump up and says it's your season, it's all right to receive it, but your season for what? Your season for what? You have to understand it. That's something you have to know. Because there are spiritual seasons, just like there are natural seasons. Now, I don't want to miss none of this. So let me inform it. You know what I mean? Like to say, inform it. When, when, when the blossoms come out, do you know it's a certain thing you got to do for those blossoms? To take care of them, to tend to them, to, you know, to watch them, get the pesticides on them, all that type of stuff. You got you to do all that then. So in the blossom, it's probably going to be one of your hardest seasons. Because don't tell me somebody ain't been through some things now. One thing after the other, every time something gets straight, another thing happens. Here we go. This phone call, that phone call, da da da. We talking about leaders now. I'm, that's who I want to talk to. But you gotta understand what season you're in. You can't talk about a harvest because once the thing blossoms, the roots have already gone in. Once that little thing perk up, no matter what kind of plant it is, once it perk up, it's a lot of work being done in the dirt. Before I get to that point. And so a lot of a lot of folks been through some dirt. Some dirt. And when I say dirt, I don't mean somebody lying on you. I mean some dirt. One thing I don't know. In the spirit. Because it take it take that little blossom a long time to get through that dirt now. And once it does, it's strong. I used to grow morning glories in my garden and it, and, and I used to love to go out every morning because they would open up in the morning and close at night. And uh, they always had a story to tell me, depending on how many were they were, how many colors they were. They always had a story to tell me, number of color. And, you know, blossoming is a beautiful thing. A tree does not start off as a tree. It starts off as a little twig with a little flower on it. That's a blossom. And that's where you are now, but that's not where you're going to stay. I want to encourage you if you've been going through it now, but I got I got a little more stuff. Get up out of here. You know, even like in uh 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 like God has just brought me out of season of rest. And that season of rest went three years. Because I had just coming out of sickness before that, just relocated. God made me sit down somewhere and rest. And that's a season in the spirit, a season of rest. And a season in the spirit can last a day, a week, a night, a month, years. And you have to understand on stand that based on where God is calling you. Your season is going to last as high as God takes you. You don't want them. And like I said, I was in the season for uh, three and a half years. And like I said, even the military, they don't leave you on the front line the whole time. You stay on the front line for a while, you fight for a little while, then they bring you back to the back so you can rest, recuperate. You understand what I'm saying? I'm talking about spiritual season now. We gotta recognize spiritual season. Cause like now, you know, it, it, being in Florida, I normally could tell seasons from Memphis, but being in Florida, you don't know, one day it'll be 90, next day it'll be 60, seasons overlap. But see, that's kind of how the spirit works. You don't know what, if you don't know what season you're in, you're going to be dressed the wrong way for the wrong season in here. Are you hearing what I'm saying? That's what, the, the, the blossom got to start in here. 
before the harvest manifests out there. Like I said, uh, the spirit, you, you understand baseball season, football season. We use the word season all the time. Baseball season, strawberry season. We use that word all the time. And we recognize it in the natural, but people don't recognize it in the spirit. Quit letting people tell you it's your season and they can't tell you what season you in. You got to know that. You can't depend on nobody else to tell you that. They might be in a whole nother season. And you can't get mad because they're in another season. They just where they are, they're where you are. And uh, you know, you got you got you got the, we talk, like I said, you got all the natural seasons we talk about, we talk about them all the time. Season after season after season. But what about the spiritual season? Do you know what spiritual season you're in? Because it's important for you, and I'm gonna keep repeating. When the season change, you have to change with it. Or you'll get left behind. Or you'll miss something you're supposed to got to have to repeat it. Come on, Tom. Somebody, some folk been in some long season because they didn't complete. And my saying is, if you don't complete, you will repeat. You can't get out of school till you pass the class. You can't graduate in God until you pass the class. Because there's a certain way he wants you to be. Now, the enemy will send you out there all willing to get your head chopped off. But God won't do that. He'll make sure you're ready. he makes make sure they kick down before he takes it out to other. So don't feel bad if you're in a blossoming faith. We all are. Like I said, I've been on, I've been on almost a three-year rest. I, I'm coming all the way back out. And then some of y'all been through pruning. What did he say? I'm the true vine. And he got to prune you sometimes. To, so you can, and the reason why they prune trees and stuff and flower bushes and stuff is so they can grow back better. That's why they prune. That's why you see a pretty rose be, bush be number stickers and weeds at the season when they got a prune. You understand what I'm saying? You got to go with the season you're in. Some folks are in the season to go. Some folks are in the season to sit. Some folks are in the season to 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 uh uh intercede. Some folks are in the season. You can't get mad at your season because you're learning through each one of them. Especially if you're an apostle or a prophet, you got to teach for it. Ain't nobody walking up under me don't know what season they in. Because I'm going to tell them. That's exactly where you are. Because I'm going to make I'm gonna make sure I get that information for God because I don't want to mislead you. And if God says my season and you can't go with me, then we part away. And you got to look at what's going on. in the, it, the Bible also says that the whole earth moans and groans awaiting the manifestation of sons and daughters of God. If you can't see what's going on right now and understand why it's time for the bloom, two of the biggest hurricanes, two history-making hurricanes hitting Florida, hit Florida. Uh, all the tornadoes this year, it's just been wilding out. And now it's an active volcano. The world's biggest, biggest active volcano is spewing out the mouth right now. Because even the body of Christ don't know what season we're in. And if you, if me as a leader don't know, how do people going to know? How do they even know where to go to? We have to know what season we're in. Even the body of Christ, the whole world is in a season right now because people don't understand what season we're in. Like I said, the hurricane, all the different types of stuff, going, what's happening with people. And I'm sorry, the uh, pandemic pandemic was the preseason. Pandemic was just the preseason. It's some stuff. These ain't the grandma and granddaddy demons we fighting them. This is totally different. Totally new. Stuff I haven't seen nothing like it. I've seen in the past couple of years, I've never, ever, in 20 some odd years a minute, never seen stuff that I'm seeing now. The type of manifestations, what's going on with people. You know, these different, they talking about some words that COVID, but you ain't got to be worried. 
Just know what season you in. You know what season you in. God have you graced and protected where he tell you to go. It's not my season to travel all over the country right now. So I wouldn't do it. It's not my season. So, but when it is, I'm not going to be afraid to do it. So all I'm saying, and I'm going to say it again, and I hope I ain't hold too long, but I wanted to kind of tone down a little bit because I wanted you to understand what I'm saying. In order to blossom, you got to understand the season. And everything don't blossom in the same place. You understand what I'm saying? Even in the same system, you got season, uh, uh, some, some, some plants, a winter plant. Some plants are like poinsettias and stuff like that. Everything don't blossom in the same season. That's why you got to know what your season is. And if you got a farm or if you got a garden or something, you got to know what the plant wins. Everything ain't going to, you just going to go out there with them and just plant, plant seeds. And you don't know what time of the year they're supposed to be, what time, you know, what kind of ground they're supposed to be in. Come on, somebody. That's stuff you got to know. And I urge you to find out what season you're in. Find out what you see, because the season change, you have to change. What worked for you last year, not about to work for you now. What worked for you five years ago, not about to work for you now. The praying you did last year, mm -mm. the fasting you did last year, mm -mm. you're going to have to up the ante. Because I'm telling you, there's some demons out there that I've never, I'm talking about. We, I've have seen stuff walk at the ocean, up and down the street. And y'all might think I'm crazy, but I'm telling you, that's that's where it is. This stuff is manifesting in people. Look at all these school shootings, all this different type of stuff. That's demonic activity. Because we as the body of Christ don't seem to know what season we're in. And that's because in order for us to know collectively, we got to know individually. And you got to put time in it. I ask God every day, what season am I in? I need to know. Because of some things I have to say no to because it ain't my season. And sometimes, no matter how I feel about it, I got to say yes because and when you've been in a certain season too long, it's hard to get back moving, if you know what I mean. It's a little difficult to get back moving. And that's why I wish he called. I said, yeah, I, in one way or another, I got to get back moving. But God bless each and every one of you. That is my word for tonight. Remember the title. I said again, when your season changes, you have to change with it. In Amen. 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 Talking about, hey, what? Look, I'm talking about. He's talking about seasons and change. I'm gonna shut my mouth. I'm look, the floor is open. I'm about look. Um, look, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna switch it up just a little bit. <laughs> Elder, Elder Nini, please mm -hmm. share with us what you got. The ladies oh, first. <laughs> okay. Oh Lord. Oh yeah. I mean, some things he's saying right now. I mean. It's, it's, it's really rough out here spirit, spiritually, so we definitely have to keep praying and fasting. Um, it's a group I'm with now. We fasted for 40 days, and after that, the Lord said, keep going. So we're a couple of days away from the second part of that, which is a 21-day fast. So actually, all together, we didn't fast in 61 days. Amen. Amen. So we have to keep moving and keep doing and keep being, hey, pray as well as, as watch, watch as well as pray. Amen. And so, Amen. yes, it's a, the demons that's out here now is ridiculous. Um, so we have to we have to fight harder too. Even though we know that God says for cer for certain things that is not our battle, some battles aren't ours. But then yet we still can't totally sit still because uh, we still have to take some things by violence. Amen. The kingdom take it by violence by force. Amen. But um, yeah, we do need to know. Uh, what season we're in that's good but I'm a fisher person so not only mm -hmm. do I know how to use a reel and use bait amen but I also know how <laughs> to be a fisher of men as well because he told me to feed his sheep amen 
Amen. 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 Right. Amen. 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 <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Look, I'm behaving. Yes. Is that is that my minister Cameron in over here? Come on here. On me. Yes, Let us hear you. Yes, it is. It's me, oh me. I came in a little late. You know, because my niece had to come in and help me a little bit because I'm not used to this. To God okay. be the glory. And I came on like near the end. And I'm sitting here saying, well, what season am I in? You know, but it's so funny because I was sharing with this young man that I know. And I was like telling him that I don't like the winter. I mean, the fall. And I said, because I love the summer. I go through something when the uh, seasons change. And he said, do you think that when the seasons change that we are not going to change? We have to change along with the seasons. And I was like, wow, that's deep. So even in this season of the fall, I'm going to embrace it and walk in the Holy Spirit. Like my sister said, she said, there's demons out here. Mm -hmm. We got for what God is calling us to do. First of all, he's calling us to holiness. This is my season of holiness, walking in holiness. And not that I was always there, but God is changing me from last year to this year, like the brother was saying. And I am so forever grateful for this change that is coming. I like the theme, it's time to balloon, time to, to overflow. And God is calling us to a great overflow in holiness. And I love this change. I love this change. I'm, uh, I spent a lot of time now with God and something I didn't do at one time. I, I was always around other people and doing things. Now I have a lot of alone time. I'm finding out who, I think this is my season of finding out who I am and God, the Holy mm. Spirit. I never, I always wondered how God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, how it all came together. Now, what I realized that you can't have one without the other. Right. You have to have them all three. Yes. I mean, which is one in God. We know that that is one in God. But I'm finding out more and more that Jesus is, the Holy Spirit is the spirit of Jesus. And that's what we got to walk like. I mean, be more like. I'm finding out who I am. I'm justified through Jesus. I'm uh, uh, made righteous through Jesus. I'm literally learning. This is my season of learning who I am in Jesus. Amen. 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 Um, come on here. Um, Sister Zena. Um, okay. Well, I want to see your face, please. Hello. Um, okay, well, um, what I was, what I got was, um, it just made me to think of the diff of the prayer of, of the prayer, how, what is yours? What is my, what is my prayer? What is my season, Lord, for me? And give me the understanding with it to learn what kind of season I'm in on spring, summer, fall, and winter. Uh, what do you want me to learn in each season you bring me in? Help me to be patient in each season while you do what you do in me and strengthen me during it. Mm -hmm. Love your neighbor as yourself. And then it brought me to think about the uh, nature, how in the, the 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 fall, how the summer, uh, if you how we can tell when summer ends and fall start, how the leaves changes, right. and when the leaves changes colors, and how the trees something happened with the trees where the leaves not only change it, but they fall off the branches. Mm -hmm. And when they fall off the branches, it, it seems like the leaves is no more alive, but dead. And then it's like, that's when you can tell that it's no more, it's beginning to be no more summer, but um, fall is about to start because mm -hmm. all the leaves, the branches is beginning to 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 get naked 
the branches are beginning to get naked. So now the, 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 the fall is coming. That's how we know fall is coming because then it's no more hot. It's no more summer, but now fall, the, 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 the winter time, the, the, the sea, the cold start coming in. The cold start coming in. And, and, and even vice versa, when winter, when winter stops, uh, and, and and summer begins. The snow would start evaporating. The sto the, the the snow will start leaving, and the cold will start also leaving. And summer it start raining a lot. It'll start raining, and and that's how we know that that autumn is here, or or, or that summer is starting to start is because it start raining a lot, and then mm -hmm. we know. Okay, now summer is beginning. So summer is starting to come around now. It, it's like things is, we start noticing the different changes. So it's like, with even with that, with the natural, we can think about spiritually. It's how God did, how God do the different trees and the different atmosphere the different the different trees the different the, the different things of nature what about how he do spiritually about us it, it just makes you think it just makes you think so 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 that's what i got out of uh, of his his what god gave him it's just time to act, act, like he said what 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 season are you in what what season because a, a person can say it's your season but then we would think oh it's our season of blessing how you know it's your season of base it might be your season of going through and mm -hmm. we might be thinking it's your season of blessing and then we, we we'll get d d discouraged or, or we'll get you know no nah, that th that preacher lied to me that preacher no he didn't you just took it the wrong way you just thought it, it was something else but instead of just seeking the lord and 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 asking the lord what season you know so i that's what i got out of it amen amen, amen. come on um prophet Sinisha, where you at Come on, show me your faces. Oh. Oh. <laughs> All right. Please share with me what you received. What I received. There's a lot. There's a lot within this. There's a lot within that. Uh, um, flower. There's a lot. There's well, summarize. 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 <laughs> summarize. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try my best. Um what I got, what I heard, what is coming to me. When he said he's something specific and I started, it's when the season changes, you have to change with the season. Because if you don't change, you're in, you're walking the next season blind. Mm -hmm. You can get affected by that next season. If, if, it, if it's fall and you're not preparing for the winter, it's pneumonia and that. And if you don't, then you're in. Yeah, um, I um, it, he, um, he said them, you have to know the season. So, you know, I'm, I'm looking. I'm, 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 I'm certain around. You breaking up, Tanisha? Oh, can you hear me now? Can you? Can you? Okay. Am I? Okay. Yeah. Come on. Okay. The plants and feet in the ground, okay. and you have to know when you plant this plant for this season. March and it'll bloom this time, but you if you don't do it within the specific time, cause that plant not to to grow. And there's things that God put within us. He he let me know, and I see it for me. You know, he said everybody's not in the same season, which brings me to the scripture: many members, one body. And that we're we're all doing. That everybody be in the season of birth while. Some may be, and, 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 and that's why I'm looking at it. Wait, Tanisha, fix your up. How about this? Can you hear me? Is that better? Uh, okay. Can you hear me now? Okay. Oh, okay. Um, so, uh, where was I? Uh, 
what came to me, um, you know, as 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 Mrs. Zena was talking, uh, she said, looking at the nature, looking at nature, and I, I started looking at it, and and what dropped my spirit, God showed me the squirrels and the ants and how they prepare for the next season. They prepare. They start early. They're gonna be. They're not gonna have no. They're gonna. A lot of things can happen. They have to fix their house. Store up uh, for for the next you know for the time of when there's none. So there's times where God will have us to store up for a season. As as um as Apostle Howard said, he God you still up. God, huh you still breaking up. You may you have to go out and come back in. Audio. Yeah, I could try it. Okay, well then we'll, we'll move on to the next person until you go out and come back in. Amen. Amen. Prophet is Barry. Amen. Please, Praise God. Please share with us what you received on tonight. And then we're going to hit the men. Praise God. Praise God. Well, basically, you're saying that, you know, we have to know, we have to change with the season. When the season changes, we have to change <laughs> with it. Um, and so, as a born, to be, born again believer, we, we need to know what season that we are in and and season for what what's the purpose what, what type of season what is it what's the purpose of it you know um what has god called me to do in this season you know um has he called me to uh spend more time with him in prayer you know has he called me to uh minister more of the gospel of jesus christ to his people you know um as has he called me for, you know, uh, to, to fast more, you know, it's, it's for me, it, this is where I'm at right now. This is the season for me is prayer, you know, more prayer in my life, you know, um, spending more time with God, you know, spending more time in his word, you know what I'm saying? Um, and, and they also told me that this is a season for me to become more open and more transparent, you know, Amen. to help his people. You know, um, that's what he's telling me is to share what he puts on my heart and don't concern myself about what people think, what they're going right. to say. This is not even about them. It's not even about them. It's about him. That's right. You know what I'm saying? And so if I, if I, if I don't, if I can't share my testimony, then the, the, the Bible says Revelation 12, 11, we overcome by the blood of the lamb. So I'm Amen. an overcomer, you know, and I have many things that God has allowed me to overcome you know, through his blood, to be Jesus' blood, and, and I need to I need to share it. I need to put it out there and help people because there's some people that has that that has not overcome. There's some people that still Amen. you know in bondage. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's 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 what I got out of and that's my season. Amen. 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 I'm I'm saying you see people are catching that, you know, when the when the seasons change, they 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 catching that part. That part, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna behave. I'm gonna behave because you know me. <laughs> you know me. Come on here, Pastor Mark. Come on here before I mess up. As always. <laughs> I love you too. Love you too. Hey, Amen. You gotta know what season you're in. Might be in a winter season. Mm -hmm. Maybe see you stay silent for a second. You gonna speak up. Mm -hmm. if be a time you be see a learning some stuff. You want to open, open your mouth and say something wrong. Mm -hmm. It might be your season of just sitting in God's presence and not saying a word. Let God speak right. to you. Mm -hmm. right. It might mm -hmm. be a season you gotta repent some stuff you've been holding on to. You can't mm -hmm. blossom in the wrong season. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. You might be in a season of you gotta forgive some people, but you're still broken. Mm. Uh huh. And, and if you don't complete, you will repeat. Yes, yes. Uh huh. You might be in a winter season. You can complete the winter season yet. Go back mm. and do back. You know, go back in the winter season. You try to go too fast. Mm -hmm. Might be your fall season, but you want to operate in your spring season. You got to know what season you're in. In that season, you're going to learn some stuff about yourself, about God. You're going to learn about yourself more and more. As we said Monday, you're going to break your fallow ground. You're going to find out what your fallow ground is when you're in your season. You got to know what season you're in. Mm -hmm. In that season, mm -hmm. rejoice. 
in my opinion, see, we got to just be joyous. Give God praise. Mm -hmm. Amen. It mm -hmm. might be it's in the process. God is processing you. Yeah. You got to know what season you're in. Because as he said, seed, time, and harvest. Mm -hmm. Before the harvest, the seed time, you got to know what season you're in the blossom. Mm -hmm. That's right. Tonight. Bless you, sir. Yes, sir. You got out of rocking. You got out of rocking. Uh-oh. Amen. Amen. So our um our brother Matthew. Come on here. Un unmute, please. We want to hear you. You want to hear me? <laughs> Amen. Uh, so let's see. Uh he's talking about the seasons. Um, well, the seasons can be you know, when is your blessing for when you're going to go through some things? Um, well, you know, when are you going to go through some things? Um, let me see what else can I, can I say because you said a lot. <laughs> um, the seasons is, is there's a, like they said, the moment they, they you plant the seed, so when you plant the seed, that's when you or you're probably going to go through a lot of trials and tribulations mm -hmm. before anything, before you begin to blossom and get the blessings that you need mm -hmm. and go through the process of what God wants you to, um, to where he wants you to go. Because he, you know, he wants you to go in a certain direction, maybe to even help somebody. So he needs you to be prepared for that that moment, so that when you go in that direction, and that's your season or your calling, then you will be you will be set for that mm -hmm. that um, blessing or that season that you're in. Amen. I, I'm, I'm getting a lot from y'all. My plate is full. What you say? I'm going to put some more on it. Put some more on it. Come on here, Apostle Young. Come on here. <laughs> you know, um, <clears throat> like Apostle Howard, I'm a city boy with country roots. Mm -hmm. And before you know, before you can plant your harvest, yes, you do have to know what season you're in. Right. You know, look at the farmer. When the farmer goes out to plant, what does he first do? He cultivates. He cultivates the land. So when you're ministering to someone one-on-one -on -one or a small group, are you preparing them? Or are you just jumping out and expecting them to be an open flower to go on, go on by itself? Mm -hmm. The Lord put me, when the Lord sent me to Florida, he said isolation for preparation. So where Apostle Howard was in a season of rest, I was in a season of isolation. Mm -hmm. Why? Because if, for those of you who don't know, the Lord told me specifically, Tampa is a hotbed of witchcraft and demonic activity. Well, you better know it. Better and he know. said his exact words were spiritual wickedness in high places. So mm. I'm just going to use us two. He had me isolate to prepare. He had Apostle Howard rest to prepare. Because the battle that we have to fight through him is going to take something. Yes, so just like we have to fight this battle in Tampa, what battle are you fighting in your own area? Uh -huh. Are you, are you, Monday morning, Pastor Mark hit on breaking up your follow ground. Well, breaking up your follow ground is cultivating the land. That land is you, you personally. Because how, how are you going to have new manna, a good seed planted in you? Number one, you're in the wrong season to plant. Mm -hmm. And number two, you're jumping out expecting a blossom and you haven't even cultivated the land nor, for, nor fertilized it in the first place. Mm -hmm. So your flower is dead. Uh, you are producing dead fruit instead of, where's your time with God? 
all these messages for the last month, I've said it, I've said it then, I'm going to continue saying, God is asking you to look at you. Get a mirror. Look at yourself. Apostle Howard, you continue. he kept saying, what season? Do you know what season yeah. you are in? Yeah, 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 yeah. The book of Ecclesiastes hit on a bit. He says it's a it's a season for everything under heaven. Yeah. So are it you is. out ministering ahead of what God told you to do when He told you to sit down and isolate so He could deal with you and your issues? Mm -hmm. Are you studying the Word when God told you to? When well, I'm, I'm I'm sorry, are you out there ministering and you ain't even studying so that when you approach these people, you don't even know what you're talking about and they call mm -hmm. you. Now you've not only made yourself look foolish, but you've made everyone attached to you look in question. Why? Because you're not in, you're not operating in the season that you're supposed to be because you're ignorant of the season that you're supposed to be in because you want to do what you want to do instead of allowing the spirit to let you know what you're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What season are you in? Do are you aware of the season you're in? Amen. Amen. And that's and that's and that's something that you and you need to know. Actually, mm -hmm. so. I don't need to know what season you're in. If I go up and if I go up and speak to a thousand people and I tell you you're in a season of blessings and you're not in a season of blessings, it doesn't mean that you're not gonna get it later. It just means you're not gonna get it now because you haven't prepared the soil, which is mm -hmm. your soul. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You haven't studied, you haven't you haven't worshipped God, not in a group setting, in your personal house, in your personal setting. You want to know what season you're in? Suffer. Suffer in silence, mm -hmm. and then you talk to God one on one. If he don't, if God don't show you what season you're in, you're not trying to listen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Anybody can worship and praise God when things are going good, but as soon as the heat turns up. Don't you know it's more fruit produced in the summer than it is in the winter? Mm. That's right. But before the summer, before the summer fruit happens, they prepare. Am I right? Am I right, Pastor How? When I say this, the land is prepared in the winter time. Mm -hmm. All from the winter to the spring, the land is being prepared. That is you. That is me. Mm -hmm. So you want to produce fruits on fifty, some hundred, some a thousand fold, but you didn't didn't you didn't do no work to prepare and cultivate the spirit of God in you in the summer. I mean, I'm sorry, in the fall, in the in the winter, in the spring. So you got dead fruit. Mm -hmm. Don't blame don't blame the the ministry that you're under, the leadership that you're under. You better take a cold hard look at you. Mm -hmm. Because like the farmer, if you didn't put in the work, you will not produce the fruit. Jesus. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm, gonna it, I'm gonna give it up, Pastor Ella. Oh, remind me. Amen. Of remind Amen. me. Of <laughs> well, so but I'm gonna add my little two cent in, up in here. Two cents. Yes, he did. He kept asking. Do you know what season you're in? And you got to know what season you're in. And when the season change, you got to change with the season. Mm -hmm. And then you have to go back and say, if the season change, what kind of change am I doing? Because even if you get to the point where you understand your season and see, you have to be very attentive when the spirit move, you move. When God mm -hmm. move, you move just like that. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. if he's taking you through... If he's taking you through and you have that moment to rest, you have that moment to be isolated, you have that moment to suffer, you have that moment to, to reap what you sowed. But the thing is, you have to be attentive to the spirit of God as he takes you through. And see, a mm -hmm. lot of us, sometimes, sometimes we don't recognize our season is because we're not willing to go. Right. We're not willing to go through the season. But he also said when it comes, you got to recognize the season when it comes, when it's about to change. Do you mm -hmm. do you understand the changing of the guards, the changing of the seasons, the changing that take place within you? Do you understand that? Because that's another, it's lessons. We are constantly, believe it or not, we are constantly in a learning season because mm -hmm. even with isolation, mm -hmm. 
-hmm. right? Apostle Howard comes yes. learning. Even yes, with yes. comes mm -hmm. learning. Even with battle comes learning. Even mm -hmm. with fasting comes learning. Mm -hmm. That's and it. if you ever get to the point where you feel that I'm not in the learning season and I don't learn this, no, you haven't learned yet. Mm -hmm. You've never learned the lesson. So here we go. We got to go back to the starting board because now you have to understand what is God trying to do in my life in this season? Say it. In this season. Because exactly. as it was stated, you can't bring forth any fruit if you haven't prepared your spirit. Mm -hmm. And if you are receiving the seeds, then what are you doing to make sure that the seed survive and be able to blossom? Mm. Right, so right. Or are you just holding the seed and then just letting the enemy come and take what, what you have gathered? Mm -hmm. The Bible speaks of it. We yep. get the seed and here comes the enemy before we can actually put it in the ground and water it and then we tend to it and make sure that all the pests and the insects don't get to it. He come and he snatch it. So what are you expecting? You can't be expecting something to bloom if there's no seed there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we're we looking at our ground. We're looking at what God has created. We're looking at us. Are we actually watching over our soul? Are we watching what we do? Are we watching what we say? Because life and death is in the power of the tongue. And oftentimes mm -hmm. we speak death instead of life. And you wonder why you're not, why you're not seeing, seeing the harvest is because you killed it. Mm -hmm. You killed your own harvest, so now you got to go back. Because even with the seed, you don't realize how much protection go in a garden. Amen. Amen. There, there's a lot of protection, though. You got to protect what you sow. Because mm -hmm. if you don't protect it, guess what? Anything can come. The wolves can come. The snakes can come. The worms can come and just mm -hmm. destroy your harvest. Mm-hmm. And they're coming. So God, it's not that God is telling us that we can't bloom. It's what we're doing from the time we get the seed until it's <clears throat> time for us to bloom. Because you can't fight, you can't go to battle in, 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 in your in your winter season. And as he said, you wear summer clothes. Some of us don't even have on the right armor. Mm -hmm. you, right. you done took off the armor of God and you decide to put on some long johns and you think that you're going to do some battles. I don't mm -hmm. Take them long johns off and go back and put on the armor of God where you can mm -hmm. cover yourself from your head to your feet. See, we want to skip the process. I just want to bloom. I want to get in God and I want to bloom. I want to be called in ministry and I want to bloom. Oh, I just want to start a church. Wait a minute. You haven't even learned to submit yourself. You haven't exactly. learned to follow your leader. You haven't learned to submit to your leader. So here we go back to that little, that little plant, that little seed. What are you doing? What are you mm -hmm. doing? We want to blossom. And God is saying, yes, you can blossom. But the thing is, what are we doing in that season? If we're not recognizing the season, then here we go. Wisdom says you go to God, you turn your ear to the Holy Ghost and let him lead you. Let him mm -hmm. teach you. Let him guide you. That's mm -hmm. scripture. He says, I'm going to leave you a comforter. Why? He's going to guide you into what? Truth. In order for you to get the truth, you have to be taught. And in order for you to be taught, you got to be willing to listen. And if mm -hmm. you're not willing to listen, you can't bloom. Amen. There's no blooming. There's no blooming. He says, you have to complete. You got to complete the season that you are in. Do you mm -hmm. not know every season has a time frame? We have yep. 12 months, four mm -hmm. seasons, we got three months. So within three months, every season must start and then come to a completion. Yes, Lord. You never see the winter in the summer. You never, mm -hmm. see, you never see spring in the fall. You They don't crisscross like that. They don't. They have their own they own tiny, even with the sea. Look at the seas. You have the, the two seas, great seas come together. They never intertwine. Why? Because they know where they belong. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All the animals that's out there <clears throat> on the face of the earth, they all know their season. They know when it's time to hunt. Hello, saints. Yep. You know when it's time to hunt. They know when it's time to gather. They know when it's time to sleep. They know when it's time to look, look it's time. I'm going to protect my babies. Look, mm -hmm. I got to take my babies away. I can't mm -hmm. leave them in the. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's look at the lions. They don't leave. They don't give birth in the right there. They don't give it in the pride. They go mm -hmm. away. 
and then they give birth to their cubs. And after they have had their cubs for a few weeks, then when they think it is safe, they bring their cub back to the pride for protection. Say it. Some of us have taken what we have birthed out and we left it where the enemies and the moth and the, and the canker worm can eat it up. And God is saying, no, it can't blossom like that. It's not going to mm -hmm. survive. We have to learn how to, what are we putting in it? You just can't put prayer in it and say, well, God, I'm going to pray over this and you're going to fix it. Nope. nope. I'm going to slap some oil you on it, God, and I'm anointed and you're going to do it. Nope. That's not mm -hmm. working either. Oh, I'm going to go to church seven days and you're going to do it. Nope. Not happening. It's not oh. happening. Everyone. Along with along with this blossom comes righteousness, holiness, yes. mm -hmm. submission, mm -hmm. repentance. But here's mm -hmm. the here's the big key that I didn't hear. Um, faith. Yeah, and that's the fertilizer. Anytime, I don't care what you put in the ground. You gotta have faith to mm -hmm. believe that it's going to sprout. Mm -hmm. You gonna have to believe in yourself to do the work. To see mm -hmm. the manifestation of what is up under the soil, what's in mm -hmm. the soil, why it's moving mm -hmm. and then it's growing and it's <clears throat> developing its roots. We know about the roots. They run deep. While it's growing roots, we don't see it happening, but we're believing mm -hmm. that it's what? We got roots. And if once mm -hmm. I got roots and what we what we begin to do every day, right? Or every a couple of days, we going out there looking. Well, not yet. Because we're expecting... Yep. Something to spring up into everlasting life. Come on here, y'all. We're yeah. expecting something to spring up. We're expecting to see a sign. We're expecting to see a miracle. We're expecting to get our deliverance and our healing, whatever we expected from God, right? Mm -hmm. But the thing is, you have to recognize your season. Season. You got to recognize, and you cannot go in your season, your summer season, without water. Matter of fact, mm -hmm. all the seasons require some sort of water, and God yep. gives it because when you look at the earth, all seasons require water. Water mm -hmm. represents the Holy Spirit. He comes and, mm -hmm. he, and he, he saturates us. He mm -hmm. saturates mm -hmm. the gifts, the callings, and everything on the inside of us. Mm -hmm. But once again, the seasons, we got to know, you can't blame somebody else for you not knowing your season. Amen. It's not your pastor's job for him to always tell you. If I have to always tell my associate pastor, which is Apostle Young, if I always got to tell him what to do, <laughs> then what good is it? Mm -hmm. I'm not helping him. At some point, he has to grow up and I have to let him go so he could do what God called him to do. And I don't interfere. Why? Because I got faith in the seed. Mm-hmm. So I'm just saying this is a this this is a good word. This is a good word. Um, prophetess Tanisha, you back? Um, yes, I am. Yes, okay. I am. You sound good. You sound good. <clears throat> um, I don't know if this must have come out. <laughs> you know, so hello. Um, come on. Come on. Was, um, basically, um, wow. Um, you touched on everybody. Touched on everything. Um. Yeah, well, basically, it, it goes um, good. <laughs> um, what I what I got, well, also what I got was, you know, the, the word of God tells us to watch as well as pray. And that means we have to watch the seasons and mm -hmm. we have to pray concerning the seasons, because mm -hmm. if we don't, if, if we're not uh, praying concerning our seasons, we're going to miss something. Um, mm -hmm. What 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 came to me was um, there was a time to to conceive. And there's a time mm -hmm. to give birth. But if if yeah. I'm going to put me in it, if I don't know the season that I'm in, um, I, I risk or we risk having a spiritual abortion. Why? Because we didn't know what season that we were in. So while we were carrying, we weren't preparing to give birth because we didn't know that we conceived. We didn't know that season was there. We didn't understand that that God wanted to birth out something within us. And so that now we are, we're ripping and running, doing all these types of stuff, and we, we can risk having an abo a spiritual abortion or we can risk not preparing to give birth and end up with a stillborn something mm -hmm. that god gave us and it doesn't it doesn't root it doesn't take place it doesn't it doesn't grow it doesn't it doesn't manifest um um 
um, what also came to me out is, 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 is the fact that I can, I can miss out. If I don't know what season I'm in, I can miss out on my healing. I can miss out on my deliverance. I, I can miss out on my elevation. I can miss out on the blessings and favor that God wants to pour on my life or the doors, the open doors that God has because I missed my season. I didn't know when he said to wait, I'm running into the brick wall when I shouldn't have ran into that wall because if I if I realized that God wanted to blow the wall up first and then allow me to run or he wanted to knock the wall over like he did the, the walls of Jericho and then I could run and overtake, then I then I understood. But if I run and I'm not paying attention, I'm not asking God what season I'm in, then I'm lost. I'm, I'm walking around blind. Um, um, it, it also came to me that there's a season for milk and then there's a season for meat. But if you are in a season of meat and you're only drinking milk, you become malnourished. Now you're now you're you're missing out on the the nutrients that you should have or the the nutrients which 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 um uh, pertain to the process that God wanted you to go through because now you're not paying attention or I'm not paying attention to the seasons and and so we have to be as the man of God said we have to be very very mindful of those seasons it almost it almost reminds me of of uh, there's a little there's a book when I was little it was called the little red hen don't laugh but this this chicken this chicken asks everybody for help. There were certain seasons that she was doing certain things with. <laughs> and she asked everybody in the beginning when it came down to tilling the soil, to, 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 to cultivating the land. And, and another thing, when it, when it comes down to cultivating the, the land, if you don't cultivate it uh, right, you'll have rocks. You'll have gravel in the way that can hurt the plants. Everything has to be moved out of the way for those seeds to be planted correctly. And, and they have to be plant God. And they have to be planted within a depth that they're supposed to be. So you got so that, that the frost, when the, when I think it's after the first frost that you start planting. So if you plant before that, you'll you end up killing the seed. You end up you you know you so we got we gotta be we gotta be I gotta be mindful. I'm gonna use me. I'm gonna keep me in it. I have to be mindful of the season that I'm in. If I don't, I can cause I can it could cause me as as Apostle Allah said not to have on the right armor. It could cause me to be exposed to the enemy. It could cause me when it's a season of prayer. If I'm praising, that's not the right season I'm supposed to be in. If it's a pre uh, 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 a season of worship and I'm and and I'm and I'm out there preaching, or I'm not, I didn't sit back like God said to absorb. To, for him to reach out and give me what I needed for that season, I'm I'm I'm, I'm not paying attention to the season. And and, and as it, it, it was said, everybody has their own season, and people grow at different rates. But we're all needed in the body of Christ. So as we all move within the season, especially when they were talking about the seedlings of a of a plant. Now the the, the funny part of, of a tree, the funny part of that is when it's growing and it's in its season. Yes, that tap root, the root that nobody sees, that that primary root within that within that tree is what's growing that primary root within us is our faith and we're supposed to have our faith our faith is going down but we, we got to be in the right season for it because if not guess what we 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 risk that tree or we risk that 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 part within us to be to be taken away or or to be manipulated by the enemy so we gotta know what season that we're in because if we're not in the right season uh, uh, apostle house said it starts in the mind we've always on the line it always it starts in the mind so the seed that god has given us if we do not if we're not um um, um observant on the season that we're in the, the seed can die we can we can literally lose our seed if we do not understand the season that we're in. If I don't understand the season that I'm in, I can miss out on a whole lot of things that God wants to do in and through me. So we we I have to be very mindful of the season that I'm in. As they said, the, uh, a man or a woman of God can say, "Listen, it's your season of blessing." Yeah, well, it is your season of blessing, but you got to go through to get the blessing. You got to go through to get to what God has for you. So, yes, yes, you got to still walk that that road. You got to you got to pay attention to to what's done. But if you rush the season, like just like if you try to rush a plant to grow, you could cause the plant to die. You could cause your seed to die. So we have to be very mindful of of the seasons that we're in. And I just thank God for the the word, man of God. Thank you very much. Amen. 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 We have one more. Um, Apostle Hodges. I don't want to skip over. I'm not sure if she's available, but I, I did want to give her a chance to make sure. Okay. Are there, in, are there any more um, comments because a lot was said they were talking about the trees and, and walking blind you know i'm gonna say this uh apostle Howell, first and foremost bruh 
thank you for the word that you brought tonight. And mm -hmm. if we don't take this word, and I'm talking about we as individuals, leaders or not, if you don't take this word and digest it and ask yourself, like, uh, I can't call her name, but she's the fire tablet. Like she said, she asked him, she said, what season am I in? If you mm -hmm. don't know the season that you're in, if you never questioned it before, Apostle Howard did what the Lord instructed him to do. He brought that question to the forefront. Amen. It's on you. It's all on you now. Amen. That was Amen. our uh, that was our minister um, Paulette Cameron that that gave it. Amen. I, I just want us to take away from this. Don't go. Don't go backward. Don't look at it as a bad thing. Don't, 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 because you're talking about blooming, blossoming. You talk about something beautiful. You talking about something that God, God, only God can, Jesus, somebody water, somebody plant, somebody water, and God bring the increase. And when mm -hmm. God start bringing you up and when God start exposing you and when it's your season, when you in the right place at the right time and when God begin to show you off and begin to sh manifest or either reveal then people want to turn around and they're not looking at your skin they looking at the anointing on your life they looking at mm -hmm. the glow of God working in your life because there's no way you receive a seed and allow God to water you and without and then he bring forth the increase and then there's no sign never even new leaves have a beautiful shine to it mm -hmm. and, if anybody seen a, a little teeny leaf, it is the prettiest leaf there. It has that shine and, and it also has a scent, believe it or not. It has a scent and you give Amen. off a scent and God is saying you're beautiful and you're wonderfully made, but you got to mm -hmm. allow him to turn around and start molding you and shaping you. He said, you already in me. Jesus, you in me, in the word, in God, in Christ, you, you are just completely covered all the way around. And he said, not only are you in me, but guess what? I watch over you. I protect you. I guard you. I water you. I give you food in your season, even though you don't want to, you don't want me to, I do it anyway. Look at it for the entire time. We look in the entire year and we, some of us has been saved for many, many, many years. Many years, okay? Many. And God continually, he's faithful. He's faithful. I don't care what season we in, God meets the need of the season that we're in, even if we don't recognize it. Right. right. So I'm telling you, if you get this word tonight and you go back and you say, well, God, okay, what season am I in? Open my ears so I can hear you. Absolutely. I need to know my season because mm -hmm. this ain't the season for you to cry. This is not the season for you to lay down your weapon. This is not your season for you to turn your back. This is not those seasons. Those are the enemy seasons where they lay down their weapon and think that's nothing going to happen. That's the enemy that says, well, I'm going to turn my back on you and, and don't come back. God is like, I got your back. It's your season for you to stand. It's your season for you to step forward. It's your season to do something new. It's your season to be creative. It's your season to give birth. It's your season to reproduce after your own kind. It's your season. But you have to have the, the hearing and the sight to recognize the season. Amen. 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 I, I thank and I praise God Amen. for all you know me. I, I, look, we'll get started, but I want to behave because we have the rest of the week to go. So I don't want to keep everybody. I want everybody to be able to come back and hear the other speakers. Amen. I, I'm, be, I'm behaving. I'm behaving. <laughs> Um, Minister Paulette, I do behave at times. <laughs> okay. I, know, I know you do. Oh my goodness. Absolutely. And so we want to thank God for using our apostle Howard. Yes, he was on uh he was on his own sabbatical and we let him have his time. We didn't need once in the blue, I check on him. Apostle, you okay? And that's, that's, I ain't going too far. Nope, not going too far. But, and then when the Lord was through, he released them. Hey, now it's time. This is your season to get back to work. This is your mm -hmm. season to step forward. This is your season to open your mouth. Mm, right. This is your season. 
So just, I want y'all to all consider my season. My, you have to say it to yourself, my season. My, season. you got to make it personal. It's my season. Not anybody else's, it's my season. Why? Because God's going to deal with you. He's going to He's going to cultivate your soil. He's going to plant in you and bring you forth in due season. Amen. 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 Please, please, please. I mean, I think and I praise God for all y'all. I'm like, I said, I got a whole plate. Um, especially since I didn't have dinner yet. I got a whole plate. <laughs> oh, Lord Jesus. <laughs> I got a whole plate and I think and I praise God for all of y'all sharing. This is one of the reasons for those that don't know, when we come together, we come together to learn. No question is a stupid question. No, I mean, we all share because we're helpers one to another. I don't care what church you go to. I don't care who you sitting up under. Still, when God saved you, he saved you. And we have several ministries on here. We have book writers on here. We have um, businesses on here. We, When I say we, God brought us together, we got almost everything you need right here. Yeah, <laughs> everything yeah. you need right here. So, you know, if you're looking for looking to get your book published, we got our Pastor Mark that got about 500, 500 books. <laughs> and, and, I'm not, and I am not kidding with that number. I am not. Um, I was there when he started his, did his first book. And it's been years. And he's a writer. Mess around. He'll, he'll book out five books in one month. So, um, so we have, you know, those that, that has music and they have, and our prophetess Berry have all type of health things for your body and then the makeup. And look, I'm going to tell you, connect with everyone. If you're not connected, please do connect so we can find out what each other is doing and we can help support whatever you're doing. Yeah. And I know with our um, sister Harvey, I have to get with you and get everyone's information so I can put it all out. I want everybody because i know she has service and i want to be part of it amen even if if we even if it's only for an hour i want to get in amen amen Thank God. amen so with that being said thank you my brother matthew my brother matthew over there right, look i'm gonna say this and then i'm gonna be i'm gonna behave for real brother matthew when i wrote my first book <laughs> when, I, when i wrote my first book that that, that was my buddy right there that was my buddy he called me up and I went, took my little self over there to New Jersey. I ain't know where I was going. Probably got lost a couple of times. But the thing is, he had a show on, um, was it MTV, B BET? He had a show and he called me and did the interview. And I think, and I praise God. And that's how we connect. We share what we have. So no one's business is unimportant. Everyone matters. Your voice matters. What you do matters. And we, look, this is a judge-free zone. We love you. Amen. So I am going to ask, I am going to ask our Elder Nimi to please pray us out. Praise God. Amen. So, Father, as we come before you this evening, Lord God, just thanking you, Lord God, for your word. We thank you for your word always, because we know that even when the world passes away, that your word will still stand. We thank you, Lord God, for the mercy and the grace that you place, Lord God, upon us. I thank you and I pray, Lord God, for every uh, ministry that's represented here. Amen. Lord, also, I ask that you would bind the hand of the enemy in our lives, Lord God, in the mighty name of son amen and that you will lose peace oh god love oh god joy lord god that you will lose oh god everything lord god that we need we pull up from the roof lord god all things oh god in which the enemy has planned that you turn that back lord amen and that you would not allow lord god those things his hands oh god to be able to grab to be able to touch mm -hmm. to be able to hurt but I'm asking because you say what the devil meant for bad, you mean for good, Lord God, that you turn yeah. those things around. We thank you. We thank you that you be with every family, Lord God, that's here, that you touch the children, Lord God. Amen. Keep the children protected. Amen. Hallelujah. So <clears throat> thank you, um, Apostle Ella, and thank you for the word of God, sir. <laughs> and um God bless everyone. Amen. Oh, okay. Amen. So we just want to see you on tomorrow. Right. 
11 o'clock. Yeah. Um, our Pastor Mark has a, a, a radio station, 24-7 music. So if you have a song you want to hear, please inbox him. He'll play it. Amen. Amen. God bless. Love you. God bless everybody. Amen. God bless.